It has all the elements of a good mystery, a shootout, a stolen car, a pursuit through several states, and a clue left behind right here in our area. But then things turn cold. Now, police know they're looking for someone, but they don't know who. Maria Miller spent the day trying to piece everything together. Maria, still a lot of questions in this one. Yeah, Jen, Rockwood Borough Police tell us they don't have many details, but they seem to know at least enough to have a suspect in mind. They're just not telling us who that man is. What we do know, according to police, is that a vehicle was found parked alongside the Rockwood Mill shops over the weekend. That vehicle was reported stolen in Illinois, but that's not all. Police say they were also able to find out the person who stole it had done so after his involvement in some type of police shootout in Tennessee. It's just not clear when or where that happened or if any officers were hurt. As for the vehicle, though, that was seemingly ditched in Rockwood Borough, the owner of the Rockwood Mill shops told us today she called police after the car sat in her parking lot for a few days. She tells us it was a late 80s model white Mercury Grand Marquis. The keys still inside. She says police towed it just yesterday. And the car had junk in it, you know, and so forth. So he said, sure. So he came around, he ran a license, and they said it was stolen from a cemetery in Chester, Illinois. It's very surprising. So hopefully with the new Crime Watch group, we can avoid problems such as that. Now, this incident was brought up at a crime watch meeting in Rockwood Borough just last night. The mayor tells us he does not believe the suspect is still in the area, but he does want people to keep an extra eye out just in case, especially because of all the vacant properties in the borough where somebody could be hiding. In the meantime, Rockwood Borough Police wouldn't release any further information on the suspect, telling us it's in state police. Uh, state police are handling the case now, but when we reached out to state police, they said they hadn't been notified. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.